So on Sunday, the Astros continued their no-hit performance against the Yankees as Houston starter Jose Ucurdy dominated for seven full innings and refused to give up a hit to New York for six full frames. And now this hitless performance by Ucurdy extended the Yankees' hitless drought to 16 consecutive innings. However, the fun would not last long for the Astros as in the seventh inning with one out, Giancarlo Stanton broke up Sunday's no-no with a missile out to Monument Park. Now this home run by Stanton put the Yankees within one run of the Astros, making it 2-1 to one Houston at that point. And now the irony of this whole game, to me at least, was how the Yankees were able to put together runs. This is because all of New York's runs in this affair would come via the home run. As you saw there, Stanton started it off with a solo shot in the seventh. Then DJ LeMahieu tied the game up at three in the eighth after he hit a two-run shot down the left field line. And finally, the Yankees would score the game-winning run thanks to their MVP, Aaron Judge, as he hit a three-run walk-off home run into the Astros' bullpen. This would secure the 6-3 to victory over Houston for New York and brought them back from the dead. Now topic number two, the Mariners and the Angels got into a brawl yesterday at Angel Stadium and it seemed the quarrel stemmed from Saturday night after the Mariners' Eric Swanson threw behind Mike Trout's head. Now the actual brawl on Sunday occurred in the top of the second as Andrew Wentz drilled Jesse Winker in the right hip. Now this would set off Winker and ensued a yelling match between Jesse and the Angel dugout which would eventually lead to the benches clearing. And now after the initial tussle, Angel's Rafael Iglesias further expressed his frustration by throwing a bucket of sunflower seeds towards the Mariners dugout and unfortunately the Mariners Jesse Winker also expressed his frustration as he gave the bird to the Angel fans who were seated behind the Mariners dugout. Now to conclude this story here are the exact players and coaches who got ejected from the ball game on Sunday. For the Mariners it was their manager Scott Service Jesse Winker Julio Rodriguez, and J.P. Crawford. Now for the Angels, it was their manager, Phil Nevins, Rafael Iglesias, Ryan Tapira, and Andrew Wance. For topic number three, although this past series against the Braves was an emotional one for Freddie Freeman, his new team, the Dodgers, would get the last laugh in a wild one on Sunday night. Now in the beginning of this game, it seemed to be shaping up as an old-fashioned pitcher's duel as the Dodgers starter Goslin went five and two thirds of one run ball and the Braves starter Stridler went six full of no run baseball. Now the scoring wouldn't start until the sixth when Marcel Ozuna drove in Darno from third on a single to center. Then an inning later in the seventh, Harrison the second would score on a sack fly off the bat of Austin Riley. This made the game two to nothing Braves. However, in the Dodger ninth, the former Tiger and brother of NBA star Tristan Thompson, Trace Thompson, hit a two-run RBI single to right field, which scored Gavin Lux and Chris Taylor. Now, this tied the game up at two. So let's jump to the 11th now, where the game was still tied. However, it was now 3-3. Three to three. So in the Dodger half of the inning, Chris Taylor would double home Cody Ballinger from third, and two batters later, Trey Turner, would hit a ground ball up the middle, which allowed Taylor to score from second base. Now, these two hits by Taylor and Turner made the game 5-3 to three Dodgers, and that is how L.A. would secure the ball game over the Braves in the series finale. And with that, that is all I got for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, don't forget that I have a brand new vlog out right now. Um, I went to the Blue Jays and the Tigers game with my buddy Hayden from Mets Talk with Hayden. Go check that out. It is the first video you see when you click on my channel. Next Sunday will be the second vlog that comes your way from Wrigley Field in Chicago. We saw the Padres take on the Cubs. 
And finally, our last vlog comes your way on Sunday, July the 10th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is from Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati. We saw the Brewers take on the Red Legs. And as always, I will catch you guys later.